If you have rocks that have been around and your building falls down, you use those rocks. If you have clothing or plastic bottles or tires, you make shoes out of them. It's the idea that you are reusing with purpose and you are making a future that's compatible with the immediate past. It's not distant, it's not foreign. And it has all the ingredients of your geography, of your light, of the philosophy where you are. So local and recycled made a perfect sense for Portland. We are offered through all of this work the ability to see their vision. It's recent, it's local, and it's in a community. It's not competitive, it's not trying to be the hero of the room. It is simply asking you to view it, not particularly something that I would think was an item that I would have in my home. I was reared with uncles hunted and fish. They had large things on the wall and it was a little repellent. But then you see this, and here she has taken a discarded creature and opened it up and created a small vision on the inside, painstakingly, painfully beautiful. And then you look at it and you go, oh, well, maybe, maybe I could do this. Absolutely, I can do this. And then you have painting by Jason Berlin, which is of the laundromat through the crystal door of a dead laundromat. And using the idea that the fractured staticness of the doll is talking to us? Well, it is, of course. And then he puts it in a variety of containers, all of which we've discarded. And we're slowly trying to expand ourselves as we minimize where we are. Her cat, unfortunately, is a select and glorious hunter and kills birds at a reputable rate. And so she takes them and puts them in salt and preserves their feet and then makes these beautiful bird women to memorialize them. Aww. The weight of the stone embraced by the warmth and the cushion and the comfort of the felt unite. And when you pick it up, you can feel it. And it's a new conversation about different elements. And it shows you how an artist can imagine a thing. Fabulous. <laughs> the artist is finished with the work. It can't deliver anything more than what it is. They've done it. It's their work. They're in it. But the person who admires it and sees it, sees themselves, sees their own possibility and imagines all these things for the artist. And whether or not they ever meet them or know them or become a, a devotee or a fan, they have imagined what they wish from their own history. When you have that variety of work, the variety of ages, the variety of skill level, you then begin to get a robust sense of your own idea of what art is and what, what may be in you.